Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Knowledge Center. In this video, I am going to make it very clear for you to understand and solve the problems related to the illumination. So to make it clear, I have considered one question which has been written on the board and this question has been taken from the VTU question paper 2018-19. So let me look into the question. I have written some important points on the board. So there is a room, there is a room with the size of a 30 by 20 meter square. So the room size is up for 30 by 20 meter square. That is a hall, drawing hall. We need to illuminate that drawing hall. There some information has been given. Illumination of 200 lux means uh, we have to illuminate for 200 lux. And there is a drawing hall of 30 by 20 meter square. Right, that is the dimension. And the efficiency of a lamp or a luminous efficiency of a lamp is of 25 lumens per watt. <clears throat> Find the number of lamps which are required in the room. Okay. Take efficiency of lamp is given and consider the depreciation factor as 0 0.8, coefficient of utilization as 0 0.75 and each lamp is of a 500 watt. Okay. That is what the given information. So very simple. <clears throat> There is a hall for which you need to have an illumination of 200 lux. So you need to find how many lamps are required. So to do that, before going into this solution, I have written a formula here. But before looking into this, let me explain you the concept here. So let us consider this is the lamp. We have a lamp. I have a lamp here. So the generally what happens, this lamp will be given in terms of wattage. The specification of the lamp will be in terms of wattage. So here, this is a zero bulb. Generally, we call it as a zero bulb because the power consumption or wattage will be very less. On this, it has been mentioned that the wattage is of 0.5 watts. Okay. So the wattage of this lamp is 0.5 watt. But the output what we are getting out of it, when we give the electrical supply, we get a light out of it. Isn't it? So when we get the light out of it, that light is not measured in terms of wattage. Means the output is not measured in terms of wattage. So that light is measured in terms of a lumens. Okay. So you can concentrate here. Each lamp will give 25 lumens per watt. For one watt of a, if you consider one watt lamp, that each lamp will, each lamp will give 25 lumens out of this lamp. So 25 lumens per watt. That is the efficiency. But in this question, it is clearly mentioned that each lamp is of 500 watts. Okay. So first understand that this lamp, if it is of 500 watts, it will, uh, if it is of 1 watt, it will give you 25 lumens out of it. Right. For 500, you just multiply it, you will get it. Right. Means now the concept is, if I have 500 watt lamps, how many number of lamps should I place in this hall so that I can get a Illumination of 200 lux. That is the point. So to solve this, first let us see how to find the number of lamps. So here some formulas I have written. Number of lamps is nothing but we can calculate using this relation. How much of wattage required? Because this lamp specification is mentioned in terms of wattages. So first I will write it in terms of wattage. Total wattage required divided by the wattage of each lamp. Okay, any of this has to be known. So in the question, each lamp wattage is given as 500 watts. So wattage of each lamp is 500. So I'm going to use a lamp of 500 watts. But but I don't know what is the total wattage required. So total wattage required is depends upon what is the illumination required. Okay, so illumination is given. Using that you have to find what is the total lumens. What is the light output from this lamp? That total lumens required to illuminate this room for 200 lux. That you need to find. The total lumens we need to find. I will come to that point. First you understand this. Number of lamps can be calculated using total wattage required to get that much of illumination divided by wattage of each lamp. So we know wattage of each lamp. That is not a problem. Now we need to find what is total wattage required. So total wattage required is depends upon what is the total lumens we want. Total lumens means the light coming out of this lamp. Okay, so total lumens required divided by luminous efficiency of lamp. For one lamp, how much of lumens we are getting out of it? Okay, that is the meaning of it. 
and total lumens required. So what is the total lumens required? We don't know that. We know the illumination, but we don't know what is the total lumens required. But we know lumens efficiency of lamp. Luminous efficiency of lamp is 25. That is what we know. <coughs> so now, excuse me, let's find what is the total lumens required. So total lumens required can be calculated using this formula. Here, E is nothing but the illumination in the hall. <coughs> there is a difference between illumination and the luminous. Okay. Uh, you can go through the theory point which I have explained already. This is illumination area of the hall where we need to get the light effect and workload factor. Okay. So, WLF is nothing but a waste light factor. Sorry, it's a waste light factor. And in this question, waste light factor is not mentioned. So, we can consider that waste light factor as 1. If it is not given in the problem, consider it as 1. Divided by utilization factor or coefficient of utilization or you can also call it as utilization factor into maintenance factor. But here it is mentioned as a depreciation factor. One thing I will clarify about this point. Maintenance factor is nothing but depreciation and maintenance there is a total re relation we have maintenance factor can be given as like this it is inversely proportional to the depreciation factor and maintenance factor will be in, in between 0 0.7 0 0.8 in the question here they need to give it as a maintenance factor but they have typed it as a depreciation factor okay so if it is 0 0.8 then you just take it as maintenance factor depreciation factor will be always greater than 1 Okay, because it is inversely proportional. So this is what one correction you have to do in the paper. It's not a depreciation factor. This is maintenance factor. So I will consider it as maintenance factor here. So once you substitute that, you'll get the total lumens required. So total lumens, once you get, you can convert that into total wattage required using this. So once you get the total wattage required, you can find out how many lamps we require. Because lamps are always uh, simplified or obtained using the number of wattage. So let's find this. Total lumens required is so and so. Uh, substitute the values and get it. So here, E is 200. Area is 30 into 20. This is 1. So 200, 30 by 20 into 1 by utilization factor is 0 0.75 into 0 0.8. So once you simplify this, we are going to get the number as 2 lakhs as the number. That is total lumens. 2 lakhs lumens. That is the answer. So once after getting this, you substitute it here. 2 lakhs lumens divided by efficiency of lamp. What is the efficiency of lamp? 25 lumens per watt. So we get the total wattage required. So 2 lakhs by 25 if you do, we get it as 8000 watts. So the total wattage required to illuminate this room is 8000 watt. Okay, but one, one lamp is having 500 watt. So using that, I will find what is the number of lamp. The number of lamps is equal to total wattage required that is 8000 divided by wattage of each lamp that is 500. So 8000 by 500 you get it as a 16. So the total number of lamps required in this problem is R16. Okay. They have also given one, one more important point in the question that is the lamps are fitted 4 meter above the ground. So from the ground level, from the ground level, 4 meter above we have a lamp. So that is useful only for a placing of a lamp. Up to this question, this is the final answer. Because they just asked you to find the number of lamps. And I got it. But now let's see how to place it in this hall. Okay. So when we have 30 meter and 20 meter here, so we can leave some place, uh, some uh, space for clearance here. We should not place the lamps at the edge of the walls. So I will leave some 2 meter here. Actually minimum 1.5 we need to leave. But we have some more space. So I will leave 2 meter here. Or let me take it as 1.5 itself. 1.5 and 1.5. Okay. And also here also I will leave 1.5 meter. 1.5 meter. So once if I consider this as a 1.5 clearance. Means we should not place the lamp to the edge of the wall. Right, we will we'll not place lamp exactly here. We will have some distance because I don't want the I don't want to waste the lamp source or light source over there. So in between this region we have to place it. So what is the uh, how many lamps? Um, 16 lamps I have. So I can place one lamp here. 
lamp number one, two, three, four. That is how we can place the lamp. Okay, let me use another marker. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Totally sixteen lamps can be placed. So, what would be the distance between each lamp? We can find it because one point five and one point five. Total three. In this thirty meters, three meter has been left for space. So, remaining is twenty uh, seven meters. So, twenty seven and what is the gap? One, two, three. We got two, three gaps. So, twenty seven by three. We can do it only. So, we may get something like six point six six. 6.66 that will be the spacing between each lamp and here <coughs> when you look into this part this is 20 meter and here 1.5 1.5 is left for a spacing so remaining area is of 17 meters so we can say this has 5.66 meter 5.66 meter and 5.66 meter this is how we can place the lamp but in this question it is not asked but you can apply it whenever it is asked in the next questions i hope this is clear for you if it is so like the video and share among your friends thank you